So we have our fire pit dug. We have our rocks. We have our area cleared away. We have our wood down here in case there's any moisture in the ground. We have a small twig bundle there, a larger twig bundle there. We have a twig bundle with some dried leaves on it here. We have some wood over here, and then we also have our tender bag that we always carry with us. You're gonna be on that side. And then we have, go ahead and kneel down. Cotton balls. Then we have our cotton balls, which is my favorite form of tender when I have it. So I take the cotton ball. You roll it out? Well, if you can find the roll, you can roll it out. Um, but you just want it to be gauzy. Like you, you don't want it all balled up together. What that does actually, gauzy mean? like you can see through it like gauze. I don't know. Oh. Um, like medical gauze. Oh, okay. So you want it fluffed out like that. And then just, I kind of do that. I don't do that. So stop that, please. <laughs> um, and then now take out your knife very care you're going to need to get down in here sitting down back there is not going to be okay you're going to have to get in here like this with your knife and your fire steel so open your knife i'm scared i don't like it that's okay i'm not going to let you do anything dangerous with it take so, it out i'll hold go. it for you so we're going to use the back of it go ahead and take your fire the ferro rod that's your ferrocerium rod so, so just show me how it works. So you're going to hold the knife stationary. You're not moving the knife, okay? You're moving the... Yes, you're holding the knife stationary and you're going to pull this along it like this. Okay, so you can... This part is not blade, all right? So you can put your hand here, you can hold this. But the point is you're holding this very still and you're pulling the ferrocerium rod along it. That looks so cool. Okay. But I need you to do it right here on this cotton because we want sparks on the cotton. The, can you hold the knife? No. no? So okay. I want you to practice once just off to the side. Okay. You're holding, that's <laughs> on my finger. You're holding this here and throwing sparks with it. All right. It's like a spark. Whoa, that See looks that? like a fire. You, you might have to clear off some of this. Haven't used it in a while. So now we have this shiny side. You hold the knife still, and you throw the sparks like that, all right? One of the sparks got, like, right here. Yeah, one of the sparks burned my hand also. They're, like, 1,500 degrees. So hold this in your right hand. Careful. This? Well, put your first finger right there, and you need to hold it very firmly. Get your hand all the way around it. Like this? All the way around it. So when you, when you drag this, see, you're going to have to hold that. So here. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. And now we get our I made twig that. bundles. We get our different size twig bundles on there. Right? I'm going to practice that. Like, try to keep, and keep this going. I was trying to show you how... Uh, oh, I see. So, this was your first fire, even though you didn't do the whole thing by yourself. I still made the fire. You did the spark part. Yeah, but you didn't stay around and put any of the twig bundles or the fuel on it. Yeah, well, I actually did start. Oh.